Watch you guys, I've had a video request from one of my YouTube members. He wants me to make a video review on this piece of software here. It's to back up your system and uh, it's a one click backup solution as you can see here. It restores it um, with one click and we're going to take a look at that. So as you can see it's a free piece of software, you can get it from this website here. I haven't used it yet so it's all going to be new to me to install it and uh, we're going to see how it goes. So we can see here it's going to back up the operating system while we're still using it, i.e. at the desktop. It also, once you've made a full backup of the system, you can make incremental backups and differential backups of the system, which is uh, very useful. Also, you can make multiple uh, snapshots, and you can choose whichever snapshot you want to revert to once you've uh, crashed. So, And also, the good thing about this is, even if you format your C drive, you can still revert back to the system as it was before you actually crashed or formatted your drive. Also we can see here which is another great feature which is obviously to back up to an external drive or removable uh, flash drive. Now this is what I would recommend you do here and the reason for that is in case the hard drive crashed completely and it was unrecoverable at least you could put a new drive in and then recover to that by one of these snapshots that you created before. Okay, a little bit like some other software that we've seen and used in the past. Okay, so it doesn't obviously affect uh, PC performance. And uh, what we're going to do here is give it a blast. You can see it works for 64-bit Vista and Windows 7. I'm not sure about XP. It doesn't say there, but I can look that up for you. So let's get started anyway. It's a bit of a hefty download, about 90 megabytes in size. And what we're going to do here is quickly install it. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I've got a partition. Now, if you've got this sort of partition, it's a virtual box. But if you've got only one drive here um, and you want to make a little partition, you don't want to use an external drive, you can also do that as well. Um, so I'm going to quickly make a partition here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my administrative uh, tools here and then computer management. Once I've got computer management open, I want to go to disk management. Now there is shortcut ways to get to this. Just trying to keep it simple for people. And you can see we've got our C drive here. All I need to do here is shrink the volume. Now as I said, I would recommend you use a, an external hard drive or USB flash drive for this. Okay, I'm going to shrink the volume by half. Now obviously most drives are bigger than 80 gigabytes is of just a, a, a virtual box so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to create a new simple volume with the whole lot of that space. We can call this whatever we like. We'll call it uh, OS Rescue. And that's that now created. we need to do here is install our software and this looks pretty straightforward I'm sorry if I'm going too fast for your installing but it does get a bit boring installing software okay so now we're all ready to go and now you can see here active uh, recovery console and this is what we're going to do and we're going to leave this on automatic um, and it will say here store your recovery console in drive and it will say the letter here automatic means it's just selected um, my drive external it wants to find another partition okay now if you have got a USB flash drive or something like that you want to actually select it yourself and you can do that by unticking this and then selecting it yourself okay but we're going to leave it as automatic I'm going to go next here and you can see it's saying take snapshot now and uh, that's okay we're going to leave the snapshot on E now you would obviously select your USB flash drive or your USB external drive here at this stage and you can see it's now going to prepare a snapshot just let that run and install the snapshot into that partition so that's now completed we're going to com click on done here and uh, let's have a little look at the uh, partition here now and you can see it's created a folder in here and uh, inside here you can see it's 
zero gigabytes NAS because there's nothing on this drive whatsoever it's just a, a Windows operating system there's no programs on that so if you add a load of data on there like music and stuff this will be much bigger in size now it did say once you've created a, a full restore um, backup you could then create snapshots so let's um, have a look at the actual program here it should be running in the background and you've got to check for updates here and also there's a take a snapshot so we can now take snapshot new snapshot then we can you can either put whatever you want in here so we could basically I'm not sure if we can allow us to do the actual slashes yet we'll have a look but we've also got an advanced part here and you can put differential or incremental backups as you're working in the background it will do backups which will be a good idea um, and also baseline so uh, we'll use it as this for now and uh, we'll just see what happens here once we do that it's going to take a snapshot now we could make some changes here also and um, we can also reboot after the operation is finished and we can also set this to shut down after the operation is finished so if we had this running and it was a big uh, backup that you was doing and uh, you could actually set this to shut down after the operation is finished you could then leave the machine on go home and leave it running if it's in a workplace and that should be okay so let's just uh, set this to reboot after the operation is finished Okay, the system will now shut down. Now on reboot you can see we've got this grub for DOS screen here and we can choose whether we want to boot up into the computer normally. So this will change your boot order here and we can see we've got a boot up to computer normally, restore the computer to a snapshot or create a new snapshot and also boot up to Windows 7 or restart your computer or power off the computer. So what we're going to do here is restore the computer um, from a snapshot. And uh, we can see here we've got a couple of options open to us with a baseline snapshot here and we've also got this one here. Now you can see the time differences when we created those so let's just, uh, we'll go for this one right now and uh, you can also take another snapshot here um, but what we're going to do is restore the system. It's going to overwrite everything, it's just giving us a warning that it's going to rewrite everything to this drive which means it's going to basically overwrite everything with this new snapshot. So I'm going to click OK here and let this restore the system. And again, you can also set this to reboot or shut down after you've finished the restore process. Now, depending on the size of your backup, if it's quite hefty, it may take a bit of time. So you may want to shut it down afterwards. So let's have a look at the actual uh, result here once it's finished. I'm going to click done here. Now this will generally start in 7 seconds at the bottom, as you can see, or 10 seconds. So we're just going to boot up normally. And there you go, we're back at the desktop. Um, and I'm pretty impressed with that. For a free piece of software, you've got a nice one-click uh, restore and backup solution there. Pretty, uh, pretty damn impressive for a free piece of software and as you can see here it's still got your snapshots here that you can always revert back to and these are um, you can see here this snapshot here is a very small snapshot it's a f uh, 322 megabytes this will be the actual snapshots that it takes uh, and this is the main backup which is obviously going to be the big hefty one here and these will just if you had these as an incremental backup setup uh, this will back up and take snapshots of your system but bearing in mind uh, this would obviously need to have access to the drive all the time to back it up to and uh, 
as you can see you would need quite a fair bit of space if you was taking these pretty often so i think we're going to call this one done i think that's going to be about it for this video so a nice free piece of software there to back up and restore your system hope you enjoyed it my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you've got any video requests just like this guy did put this video request for me and i made it for him and i'm pretty glad he did because it's a nice piece of software and i'll be i'll do my best to make those videos for you so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support bye for now